Now I'll tell you a small story. She's saying that last week a lady came in. She was coming to me about a year ago. And about six months she didn't come. Like everything, probably everything was okay. She came, she, walked, she just walked in like she's flashing of light. What's the flashing? What's the flashing? It's a uh, zoherit. Papani. Ah, okay. And she, um, she was, and the time came, she walked in, and I asked her, what happened to you? He said, listen, you, know, you ruled my life. I said, what's happened? We have a waiting room. On the waiting room, we have a big screen, which uh, ran, running the show room. In Hebrew, in English, one day she sit there, and she heard Tikkun Arbaim Vishalosh. Because she understood how important it is to study the Zohar. And she bought a whole bookcase of Zohar. When she bought it, she consulted me which of them is the right one to buy. And I said, that's the one. Of course, it's only translation, but no any. Yeah. And she said, every day, one hour. My life, she said, my life is changed. 100%, my business is going well, she's doing better, her health is getting better, and she said, ask me today to make it five minutes less, no way. So. Somebody asked me if a woman is okay to learn Zoeh. Shabbos, it's Shabbos, I say in a speech. And I say, Rav Shemar, who is said, if somebody don't learn Zoeh, he don't listen to the Tfilot, don't listen to the Shema Israel. What you want the women to, 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 to don't listen to the lot? Why, why drink every day? If you don't say Zoya, there's nothing. The Sabshim Berchoy said, not me. Last night, uh, we have, I have in Shur, it's already a few good months in Wale Domin, which you know about yeah, the Shur. I won't go out sometime. Please. And he came, the guy who's sitting there is already six, seven meetings he's coming. And he said, he raised his up, hand up, and he said, I want to say something. Please. He said, you don't know me. I said, no, how do I know you? I don't know. He's come to the show. Enjoy it. He said, I'm a teacher of personal fight, something like, I don't know exactly. And he said, I'm already uh, uh, four months in the show. Four months. I said, what are you doing here? For you, four months, and we decided to study as well. He said, One day, and he was in the other side of He said, I was totally in the other side. So, one day, I was dreaming. Somebody came to me in my dream. I said, Go to Rabbi this and this, which absolutely he and Rabbi are. He said, Last time he saw a Rabbi was when he went, to, he, met, he met his wedding. I went to the Rabbi, the Rabbi blessed him and gave him a he said, that's the you are, I am. He gave him a uh, Haggadah, that's for you. From that time, something inside pushed him to study the Zohar. Every year he's coming, he said, I don't understand why the shul is not full of people. It's sweeter than any other things that I know in, in, in the whole world exist. And everything there is, he said, I, I, I don't understand. Why everybody don't just drop any other kind of studying, the sitting and studying the Zohar. That's the time that everybody has to know it. So I'm saying the same thing. For us to see people coming from nowhere, realizing and finding it so sweet, and he's sitting there like, un, like a vacuum machine. He's taking every word, and he's enjoying that. He's coming 15 minutes ahead to have a seat and have his chair with his book ready to study the shoe. We wish, and we have. The Latasha. Bravo, yours. We have the, the honor to listen to the Shiur, and I go on at Sadiq and Kobal, Rabbi Yitzhak Ruvain Shlita. What you see, people coming to him, and you see a lot of Mofsim. Mazem Mofsim, Anglia. 
Yeah. We can it's like yeah. a miracle. Because it's, it's not his miracle. He know how to give the miracles. Give them, like a doctor, give a medicine. And I say, this Shabbos, I say in speech, this Shabbos here in Shul, I say, you history, what you tell. A woman coming to him, and I tell this, and people listen to this, and uh, I got telephones from this, uh, from this. A lady coming, he got two children, one from six, one from eight years, and, and make uh, wet in the bed. And he give it, he tell him, to lay him patach liyao? No. Tikum em gimel? Tikum em gimel. Tikum em gimel. And say, Shay, what? You want my children to be mashiga? And tell them, don't worry, if you be mashiga, I go together with you in the Bet Meshugayim. <laughs> and then he's asking, you serious? Yes, you serious. Give for the children every night to live. And the first night, what is going over, everything is okay. It don't make more wet. And I tell this in the speech, and a lady called me up, and they tell my lady from Tel Aviv, tell me, I listen to your speech, what you say. This is Gewaldic, I have a lot of friends, but they have these problems. Nobody can help. <laughs> now we're going to say, a lady from Tel Aviv, from Technion, from Techni, Techni, uh, Electric, Technion from Haifa. She's in Tel Aviv, she's also an electrician. She tell me, she listened to my speech, and this rabbi already said, this is one thing the history is. The other history is also good to say. One lady coming with a boy for ever, uh, over 20 years, but a complete machine, and not coming, and not, and not co stay up to down, and not this, and not this, and not this. Complete machine going to psychology, and pills, and everything. And what I can do with my son? Tell he, was, he was in Thailand. How long? How, how old? He how was son? in Thailand for, for a year. Right. Thailand. Is it tell him to lay him Tikkun Azor every night before he's going to sleep. And right away, one day, two days, three days, everything can stay up and working and everything changing completely. And she coming to ask, I can't stop to lay the Tikkun Azor. Uh -huh. Say, no, 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 keep forward, keep forward. You see miracles, mamash, mamash. Nobody can understand. Quando já está no Arabanim, each one on his own, in respect, we'll, we'll continue what we started already in Tikkun 69, which I understand for some of you is jumping in the middle, but that's a continued lesson. I think that each one of them have a lot of news into that anyway. We're in the middle of discussion between Eliyahu and Avi and Rabbi Shimon. They're talking to each other and about a few subjects. And then uh, the last discussion was that Rabbi Shimon was talking to Eliyahu and Avi, and they are talking about the Chet Adam and uh, his wife did. Uh, I'm not saying Chava because that's not the stage that she was a Chava. It was only his wife. And um, we know that she had uh, she had an issue with a snake. And the snake put a zuama, I think, it's, or what zuama is, like a tuma, into her. And um, Rabbi Shimon asking Eliyahu Navi, what is this zuama that the snake put, I say, in Chava? What was that? He said, don't forget that the Samech Mem wife, which we're talking about, let me do, let me do tough, she is from non-pure drop. And she is the Zoma. She is the one that's holding everything not to go as it's supposed to go. And she's stopping everything. And about him, about the Samech Mim, he is the fruit. And why he is the fruit? No, where we see that he is the fruit? From the sentence, from the Pasuk, he says, 
that she took from his fruit and ate. From his fruit. That, that's the point. That's what Rabbi Shimon says. And says, okay, what, what she ate? The death. That's what she ate. And that's what he says. We said in Sefer Mishlei. And they said that her leg was going down to the death. And this is the drop of the Zohama that coming from another God. Not from our God, but from another God that she took it. And this is the poison that it cured the death of the, of the tree. And that's what he says, the sentence was saying, the Pasuk was saying, the Adam was Moshech Be'orlato. That's where it's coming from. Uh, I'll say it in English. Well, God help me. Uh, Adam Moshe Morato is doing uh, um, like Zara Levatara. Spelling seed. Ah. Okay. That's, that's the meaning. So we see by that stage, we see that. The Zohama, the basic we want to understand from this chapter, from this part is, what is the real Zohama that she got Chava? What is that? Where is it going to? Is that something locally that is going to disappear after she is going to pass away? Something she is going to be like until the next period? Something that is going to be until the next generation? Or until when? That's really the main question we are Founding because no doubts that she brought the death to the world twice. What he's saying, if you, from the day that you're going to eat that, you're going to die twice. Mot and tamot. Mot now and tamot in the future. Dying now and you will die in the future. So twice. So no question, whatever she ate was the fruit was coming for the Samachmen. But that's easy. To understand it. So now the main question is we're going to discuss now with not not we Rabbi Shinur is going to open to uh, let us understand what it is what is doing. The Farshin going deeper into that and raising the question. Are there going to be when you eat something that it's not kosher? How it's going to affect us? So I'm, uh, if I'm going to eat any kind of meat or any kind of seafood or any other other things, how long is it going to affect? Is it going to affect me alone? Is it going to affect me for a short time, long time? How long is it going to affect me? Let's first to understand this step, whatever she did. And to see how how deep it's going, how far it's going, and then we break it by the Mefarshim to the other side. The, the, when Adam and Chava was together, she got pregnant. And she gave a birth. Kain is coming. And then Suddenly, the, the, the Torah is saying something. But Tosef Laledet et Achiv Hevel. She is like adding to give a birth to his brother, Hevel. What do you mean? If, if they are twins, why to add? She is continue giving a birth. What's the point that the Torah says to add? What she is adding? Why to add something if something is the oral twins? Or might be I can say they were expecting to have one and suddenly they found another one. Now she's adding the second one. But she knows from the beginning it's going to be two. We studied before and to understand that they, they went 
two to the bed and come off seven. They went two? To the bed. What does it mean to the bed? They went two to the bed uh -huh. and Before. come off and Before. come down. No, why? They, may, they went to make a yichud with two. Ah, okay. Okay. They went two to the bed and come off seven. Okay. I'm asking why seven? How come seven? Well, the answer is Adam and Chava, Hevel and two sisters, the twins of him, but Cain was one. There's only one girl who was next to him. There are seven. And of course, Cain, Cain was jealous. How come my brother have two and I have one? Was the purpose that, purpose that he have two and I have one? We're going to open it in a few minutes and to, to try to understand. They were twins? Two girls with... So Cain and Abel were twins? Havel, Havel came in with two sisters. But Cain and Abel were twins? Yes. Originally? Yes. So wouldn't the three sisters be from both of them? No. Two for Havel and one with Cain. When Cain came out, he came with his twin sister. Uh -huh. One. And then after him? And after him, Havel came. That's what I say. why she said to adding Havel. Uh -huh. So Havel was the second one. And then he came with two. Uh -huh. That was a question for Cain. Cain asked why. Why have two and have one? What's the purpose? Well, where is going there? We're going to clarify it in a few minutes to understand what the Zohar is trying to say about that. Now, when she is adding that, the Tehilim have a pasuk saying, Tosef Rucham Yigva'un Ver Afaram Yishuvun. It means to add the spirit and they're going to die, and they're going back to the earth. That's the sentence in Tehillim. What he says, the Zohar says, Rabbi Shimon says, he's giving a sign, he's giving the remez, the reincarnation of the Tzadikim. Why? Because they're going by the way of God. And showing them. Adam came in and asked the question. If you say Chava God Zohama, and you're going, everyone is going back to the earth, and that's the sign of recognition of Tzadikim, is that mean that I'm going to disappear? God said no. No. I'm going to show you through the whole Gilgulim from now on that in every generation Tzadikim will be there. Now let's open it to understand what this discussion is. When we have this unpure come to Chava, this unpure have to come out. Everyone is taking part of this of this amount. So, kind got them, and heaven was pure. And it's going by generation ahead. Taking the non pure things out, the, taking the, the, the Zohama out, and leaving the pure. By that, they're going to the, the Zohar asking, not in this paragraph, in other. In Tikkun 32, asking a question, how we clarify what is the difference between these two parts? Both of them children from the same father and mother. There's any difference between them or they're equal? We say they're not equal because, for example, if you take Abraham, it's Haq and Ishmael. Fine. Ishmael is Abraham's sons. And it's like Zavram's hands too. I know that you can come with arguments. I say, hey, but Hagar is not Sarah. Hagar is Hagar, Sarah is Sarah. 
So I'll bring another argument and I said, okay, let's take Yitzchak and Rivka. She have a son and Yaakov. Both, both of them, same birth, twins, same father, same mother. Is the son and Yaakov is the same? The answer is no. What's the difference? That's a question that Tikkun 30 is bringing. He raised the question about the Pasuk that the, part that the Torah says, Nase Adam. That's a question. Nase Adam. And then there is a continuous in Kedmutan of Salmenu, but the, the word of Nase Adam. The Zohar asking, what does it mean, Nase Adam? What, what, what does that mean to make an Adam? It means that he was not an Adam and you want to make him an Adam. That's the point. Because before he, make him, before he was Adam, he was something else. What is something else? He was a goy. He was a goy. And you want to make him Adam. That's what they are asking. He said yes. There are says five conditions to make him Adam. And in a minute we will understand what is Adam. We say we using, we, we pronounce it as Adam, but what is that? The Zohar says, five conditions. First, to keep Shabbat. Second, say twice to day Kriyat Shema. Third, to put fill in. Fourth, to break a brit. And fifth, to keep Yibum. Yibum v'chalitza. If you do that, you're Adam. If you don't keep that, you're not Adam. Is all of them, or even one of them is enough? Is all of them or none? If you don't even keep one of them, you're not. What's the meaning of to be Adam? What's, what's the point? So don't, I'll not be Adam as you describe it. I'm, I'm still human being. The answer is no. Adam is part of God's names. There is, Adam in Gimatra is 45, and there is names of God with a milu with Alfin, Havaya be milu Alfin, and the Gematra is 45. So, this part of the soul that we call it Adam is coming from God's side. Not fair, A. How am I going to recognize it? If he is Adam or is not Adam? If he is Adam, he has five parts in his soul. Yes, there's going to be nefesu neshama chayav yichida. There's five parts. But if he is not Adam, how you call it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't say I'm sorry. That's a Zohar language, and I'm going to use it as it is. I don't want to change the Zohar language. If you are Adam, we have five parts. You are Adam. If you're not there, you are Bema. Because to me, Bema, we have a soul of nefesh Bemit as it is. So if I look on the Goy, I ask him, who is he? He is a Bema. He has a soul that has only one part from the Nefesh Bemit, and that's all, he don't have more. So that's the limit, that's the difference between Adam and, be, and, and Goy. And that's where we come in here. So if I look on the Savan asking, how many parts in he have in his soul? One. And Ishmael, one. And Yitzchak, five. And Yaakov, five. Here we are. Same father, same mother. What makes them the difference that this one got one, this one got five? That's coming from Chava. That's coming from the Zohama that she got from the snake. Each one take part. Until when? Until when? Where is going to be ended this Zohama? What is going to stop by generations going on until it will come? What is going to be ended? Oh, how interesting it is. Until Moshe Rabbeinu. And Moshe Rabbeinu, his, uh, his father-in-law, his name was Canaan. That's from the word Kain. And Canaan was Yitro. He was the last drop of the Tum'ah from Chava. She got from the snake. Look how far it is from Chava. This is how far it's gone 
From that time, the tumor stopped already. The tumor by giving birth, not, I'm sorry, not the tumor of the, of the woman. That's a different story. This will stay forever. Now, when Adam came to God, he said, fine. He said, I'm going to lose. He was afraid. Why? Because it might be that some place is going to be a break and only the tumor will come in and the pure side will not come and they stop reincarnating the souls of Adam. And then it's going to stop because we want to come to the final which reincarnate all of them and fix all of them and come back to be one soul. That's where we are going. God said, no, don't worry. He showed him that every generation, 60 reborn of the souls at Sadiqim will be in every generation. So we'll never be in a part that even one part will be missed from now on until the Mashiach will come. Until we come back to be one. Until that time, every generation, the 60 rebo souls will be exist. 600,000? Yes, it's 600,000. Yes. And then who is going? And that was going by reincarnate from tzaddik to tzaddik. Until it's going to stay, until Bezat Hashem will come to the final and, we'll, and, we'll, and then, then we'll come back to us. And that's the place, or that's the reason that the, te- the sentence says, Vatosef Nazareth, she had giving birth. Because what she had now, she took the tumor out, it was kind, and said, okay, now it's finished. She said, no, I still owe, and I have to give more what, I, what is the agreement with Adam, and that's a heaven, that's, the tzaddik is coming. That's why she had in giving birth to be able to bring the tzaddik to the world. Now that's that's a reason why we see in Kohelet. The Zohar says there is a pasuk says Dor olech v'dor ba. V'le dor pachot mishishim ribo. That where it's coming from is from that promise that God had to Adam that every generation were not going to have less the sixty ribo from six hundred thousand. And then, how is going to do it? The Zohar says, if it's coming and going, the bank is coming against the letter Vav. What's, what, the, what's coming and going? Every, say, every generation, they're coming and going. Oh. Yeah, like recarnation, coming and going. That's coming against the Vav. And how he's doing it? All the valve is coming about <coughs> the six sides. I can say, Chesed Gvatifert Nitzachod Yisod. That's the valve. That's coming against the Zah. That's where it's coming. And they are coming again uh, as the 60 Rebo. Each one of them have, have 10. So by six, we have the 60 Rebo. And that's coming. And the, all of them is coming in them, and there's six Firot, and he said, but in any way, wherever you take it, it will stay forever. The world will stay forever. Even the generation is coming and going, and we put him again, the six Firot, they're going to reincarnate, but the six Firot is always exist. Doesn't matter how, how much, it's not going to change, because in any of them, they will stay, and the souls will come, Peacefully by all the parts. So any parts will never list, so will not will not be missed. And there is a, a that's a Pasuk says in Kohelet, and that's the reason that the whole world is always staying. This Vav is the, from UK Vav K? No, 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 Where no. Where is the Vav from? Vav is coming, Vav is number six. Ah, okay. In the Aleph bit. And it's number six. Right. And Vav is this one, uh-huh. on the middle. And that's by that, Vav is six, and you see 
בכל חסד גבוה תפארת נצח עוד יסוד, all of them connecting. If you look on פרדס פייג' ל"ג עמוד א', you see the picture and you see there how the תפארת is the, we come against the vav, how the תפארת is connected to the whole six parts. So you can see that picture there to understand how they build. So the center of this, we can say, that's all, all of them, are this, that's the six parts. There is another way of looking on that. If we transform names of God against, and uh, not against, as the tense field. So we put the Yud above the Chokhmah, the K above the Bina, which is Shechina Ilaha, the Vav is six, the six Sfirot, and the last K against the Malchut. So we see the Shem Avaya is against, again, the Vav is in the middle, that's the six Sfirot we have to, to fix. And this is, by the way, this is our work. When God created the world, He gave us a job. We, we didn't come here to have a seat on the beach and, and playing, uh, I don't know, any kind of games, but we have to fix the world. And our work is to work on this few out and fix them. This is where we are. And this is what we should do to fix all of them. And that's what we do. The tools God gave us, they say, Elion Nabi say, in Patach Eliyahu, that's the six Firot is the six, uh, the tenth Firot is the ten Tikunim that God gave us to fix the world. And this is what we should do. So when the, uh, uh, the Sfirot broke down, it's only the lower seventh broke down. The, la, the top three states all, all together at, at, at once. They never broke down. So we have to fix all the seven. The six is there, and the last one is the Malchut, which always, this is Shechinat HaTa'ah, where she's staying in the Malchut. And, and that's what he said in, in Kohelet, Ve'aretz le'olam omedet. That's he going about what? The Shechinah. Shechinah is in the earth, and she's always been there and not going. And that we said, Zohar says, that's the time that... We see that the lucky is there by the day, or the lucky is coming by the time. What's the difference? Lucky is coming by the day, and lucky is coming by the time. It's luck, luck, lucky, 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 mazal. Mazal, okay. If the lucky is coming by, by the day, it's a question that's coming by reincarnation of the generation that is coming there. It's each, each generation has a mission. But if it's coming by the time, is our own private work in our things that we have to fix, each one by himself. And this is where we are. And that what he said, there is no one in the world that the time is not standing for him, that the luck is not yet there for him. There is always a time for you, for each one of us, that we can fix and do. It means there's always a, some, at some moment, your muzzle is connected to a certain time. Yes. Each day? No, no each day. We call it a time. That's a time for us. We say, we say that there is a sentence that the Farsim says, what is the mazal? Mazar is, is, is a Rashi uh, Tevot of Makom, Zman, Velashon. Place, time, and tongue, and words, whatever it is. If, if you take the right things in the right time, the right place, that's the Mazar. But anyway, we, we look on a deeper, and then what Rabbi Shimon says, that any time that you have there is coming for her husband. Who, who is the, her husband? Let, let me clarify. We have uh, every day, every day, we're doing chupa. Every day. And this is, by, by putting it feeling, that's the chupa we did. That's what the Zohar is clarifying. How we're making the chupa? When we put the feeling of head, 
we make in the Ihud between Kalosh Baruchu and Shkinte. That's what we do. We put that feeling of the hand between us and the Shekhinah. That's what we put in. Now we put the hand. When we go into the Chupa, what do we do? The, the same in Brachot. Of course, every turn we do, it's a Bracha. We have seven, it's a seven Brachot. Against what? Not against. As similar as the seven Sfirot, who we are. Because we are the seven Sfirot. The lower one, we call it Zah. That's where it is. So Chesed, Gdua, Tifet, Nitzach, Olesot, Malchut. That's the seven of them. And after we finish that, what we put? We put the ring. That's what we put. Now this is the Chupa. Every day, between us and the Shekhinah. By the way, that's part of the... Always we're saying, people are saying, uh, I'm following everything, but no, no, don't tell me, go by the Kabbalah. It's too complicated. It's not, it's not for us. This is for someone who is uh, very holy, and this is for someone who is very smart, and he's supposed to be, I don't know, God's man, I don't know, prophet. Ask him a question. How many wraps are put on your hand? He says seven. I said, from where you bring it? I don't know. Everybody's doing I'm doing two. I said, okay, let's open Shulchan Aruch. What Shulchan Aruch says, we follow that. He said, that's right. I said, okay, we'll follow Shulchan Aruch. I said, from your hand to your finger. No seven. You put a seven, that's coming from the Zohar. That's coming from the Kabbalah. That's coming from Rabbi Ari. That's what we're doing. So if you're doing that, you're following the, already the Kabbalah. So what are you worried about? So here, where we are. So that's what we do every day. This is the chupa we do now. And that's what is coming. And there is no time that it's not for her husband. Who is the husband? Who is the, we are the husband because the Shekhinah is the, 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 the nuke one. That's the female side. And that's the time on that they have sons, lives, and sons, lives, and and food and mezonot to the, to to us. That's the time. Banim chayim be mezonot. Bnei chayim o mezonei. Bnei is the sons, lives, and food and and, and the mezonot. Where, where is it coming from? To understand, when you make a yichud like that, the shechina is there, in between you. And the Shekhinah is, you, if you accept her, you're part of you, don't worry. You have them. Nechayim is there. If you don't do that, don't expect to have it. Why are we blessing all the time that we hope Bezat Hashem and the couple getting married and then the Shekhinah will stay in their home, they're going to have everything. They're going to have what? What, what, what is everything? You're going to have children. They're going to have life. And they're going to have a Mizamot. There's nothing to be worried. I'm not sure that they want to have a rose soil standing outside. That's not the key. But they're going to think that going to lives will be as really God wants to. That's why the Mepharshim said, the Bnei Chayeu Mezone la b'schut atlani, ela b'schut mazali. That's what saying the Mepharshim says that sons and the food and, and the life is not because of you, it's because of the luck. Because it's a time of luck. The time of luck you, you're doing by getting this, I can say, marriage there, that's what it is. <coughs> that's what he said, that we, as Israel, we are, we are above the Mazal. We're above the Mazal. Why we are above the Mazal? What, what's the point? The point is, whatever the Mazal is, we can change it. If it's saying go to a certain way, that's... For the going, whatever it's written, that's going to be. For us, no. We can change it. If something written for us, that's the way it should be, we can change it. Take a small example. Kabed etavicha ve'etimcha. What does it mean? We are going to respect our parents. 
I'm going to extend in my life. Now I'm just thinking, if I'm going to stay in the bed, I'm going to say, doctor is coming to say, say, Yitzchak, you have another 10 hours. How much I'm going to pay to have another day? Everything that I don't have, I'm going to pay just to have another day. Tell him another year, I'm going to sell my shoes. I'm going to have another year. No, no doubts. So if, I, if I'm by respecting my parents, I'm going to extend my life, there's no value. There's no value that I can put it there. I can say, that's what it is. And that's exactly what he said. Now we are above the luck. We can change things by doing things. Complicated? No. But complicated for us. It's a me, it's not, it's not a remind me, but raising a question about the Yetzirah. We have some kind of understanding that the Yetzirah is something very bad. We don't like him, we hate him, he's coming from unpure place, and etc., etc. But I have some news for you. No. He's a good guy. And he's coming from a very holy place. He's coming from Binada Atzilut. It's a holy place. The Bible is sitting in the Binada Atzilut. Yet Sarah is coming from Binada Atzilut. But there is agreement God did with us. And he said what? On the first mistake I, I did, when I was in Olama Bria, he came to me, said, what you did? I said, no, 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 it's not me. She gave me the wine. Go and talk to her. I said, okay, fine. I accept it. Second mistake, when I ate from the tree, God came to me, said, what you did? I said, no, no, it's not me. The wife you gave me, she gave me to eat. It's not me. Oh, now another time. Second time already. It's the third time. It's not the third time. Finished. Now we're going to change the system. From now on, it's only me that had din. There is a din in the world. Anything you do to have a chesed rachamim, for your benefit. If you don't do nothing, it's a din. The Zohar says like that. If the mitzvah came to me, I have a chance to make a mitzvah. It's right next to me, and I'm not taking it. I don't want to make it. I'm not in the mood to make this mitzvah. I don't, I don't want. I'm tired now. I have too many things to do. My uh, stock market rising up or down. I have to run to the bank. I have no time to make this mitzvah. So no problem. Don't, don't do that. By not doing that, midat tadin of that mitzvah is going to hit me. That is what I said. But why? I didn't do nothing. That's what it is. Even not doing nothing, it's a din. If you do something, you get the schut of chesed or achamim, whatever you take. By that, this is one side. But the other side is, he said, listen, you always have a reason. Now, convince yourself what you want. Convince. Many times we don't know. We're not sure. He said, if you're not sure, I'm going to twist you until you make your mind. Whatever you did, it's after you made your mind. Whatever you're going to do, it's your, respons your, own, your own responsibility. You can't tell me, she told me, he told me, no more. I'll give you a friend, he's going to be next to you. Whatever you say, he will push you to the opposite direction. If you're going to write, you're going to say left. You say left, you say right. Whatever you say, it's the opposite of you. By that, you have to be sure what you want. Whatever he said, it's not important. What you want, that's, that, that's the case. So if he's push you to the right direction, what will be? The right direction. So he's not bad. He's bad for me now because he wants the opposite from what I want. That's why he called bad. Not because he's doing bad things. Not at all. If I'm going to have a um, bunch of cigarettes in my pocket and my son will come to me, he's six years old, he says, Father, give me two cigarettes. 
I'm going to give it to him? No. I'm a good father or I'm a bad father? From my, from my son's pers perspective, I'm a bad father. I didn't follow what his wishes. I'm bad. Actually, it's good. But for him, at that moment, it's bad. This is exactly what's happened with the Yetzirah. What I want on that moment is what I want. That's it. If, I, if it's good for me, I don't know. It might be that what the Yetzirah says is going to be something good for me. But I want something bad. So that we call him Yetzirah not because he's doing bad things. Because he's doing opposite from my wishes. That is all sense. So what we have to look on it? And something that is going to focus my wishes. That I will be able to know exactly what I want. Because I can't blame no one. I can just blame myself. I can come to God and say, you know, my old neighbors are driving in Saturday, so I'm driving in Saturday too. Well, it's not working. You drove, you have your own responsibility. You did something, you have your own responsibility. I have yet said, he convinced me. He didn't convince you. Just push you to another direction. Make your mind. Think it's good for you, it's bad for you. Good for you, do it. Bad for you, don't do it. Doesn't matter what he says. If my neighbor does something, he's going to push me, I'm going to do it because he told me. No, make your mind. That's the reason there is a discussion in the Gemara asking if the guy is going to thief. He's going to pray to God. He said, God, help me. I want to make a nice bunch of money tonight. Is God going to help him or not? The Gemara says, yes. How come? He's going to do something opposite from the Torah wants. He went against the Torah wishes and did something. Oh, it's a big hand for what he's doing. His wishes. He wants to. When you come upstairs, you pay the bill. That's another story. But now, take it because this is your wish. So how strong is the wish? Is over everything. Is over everything. There is a description in Shir Shirim, in the Zohar Shir Shirim. And he says that every word that we take out from our mouth, angels is coming and taking it. Where? Wherever our mind is going there. He said, wait, how come? There is, Rabbeinu Ari says, Bishar Tanta, he said, there is a Tamim. You bring the tam, you put it on the on the on the letters. You bring the nikud as a legs, and they take it. He said, "No, but there is a wish. The wish is the neck. The neck of 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 this rochev, uh, of this who is uh, leading the the horse. The neck is this. So it doesn't matter that you have a head. It twist if the neck will twist the head." To another direction, he will go to another direction. If the neck would twist it to another, he go to another direction. Even if I know that the mind is there, but the head, the neck, who is going to lead it? How strong is the wishes? So we said that's the reason the same. Ramban Shalom Madapir Kalev says, "What is a machshava? Machshava is moach sheba. Split it to two words. Moach sheba." Moach Shabbat means to Moach of whom? Of our top spirit. We say Malbush that we have there. It's everything there. There's nothing here. Sometimes we think from here to here, that's where we go. The answer is no. We can think 10 seconds and talk two hours. What is that 10 seconds is? is coming from there. This is the two, se two seconds. Ten hours because I'm slow. So my, all my brain with my mouth with two hours will be expressed with these two seconds of thought that we have there. Yes, but uh, how do you know if what you are going to do is come from the Yetzirah or Yetzirah at all? You cannot know. You can do a mitzvah and after this not mitzvah. It's a Torah. How do you know exactly if 
he won't, I won't answer that. Yeah? Is it time, time now? I don't yeah, know. Time. Yeah. So I won't answer it. Okay. First, for anything we do, we have to study. We have to know what we should do. There is no imagination. There is no place for imagination. There is no place for guessing. There is no place to consult with our neighbors. We have to study. And we have to know. When you study, when you know, you know what to do. And then if somebody can twist, you study probably, but you have to put that feeling every morning. But four o'clock in the morning, when you want to wake up to go to the tefillah and pray in the nets, probably the guys come to me and say, it's hard, cold outside, give me another 20 minutes. Why are you going here? If it's warm here, nice, you're under the blanket, raining, chilly outside. Oh, stay here. You can pray in 30 minutes later. It's not go. He said, okay, I'll stay another 30 minutes. Next time you open your eyes, two hours there. Or you passed away. Nets is only not there. You're going to pray 8 o'clock in the morning, and you are disappointed. Who was there? Yetzirah, Yetzirah. By studying and knowing that this is what you want, by God wishes, whatever he commands us to do, by the 613 mitzvot, that's where we are. But, on the other hand, don't forget that you have a mission. You want to clarify your wishes. What he is doing? We, all of us, I, I, I called them, I called myself, not you, I called myself Rav Noach. I call, that's what I called myself, Rav Noach. Why Rav Noach? Because I have in the basket 613 mitzvot that I should do. Which of them I'm taking? The one that I feel comfortable. The one that's easy for me to do them. The one that are difficult, I leave them on. Not now, later on. Let me grow up. Let me come in the, when I'll be old and I'll be in the pension. I will study them, I'll make them. In the meantime, what I'm taking, what's easy for me? That's obviously what the answer is doing. He brings me the, the difficult ones. He put me, try to push me to be able to do them. And what I'm doing, I'm pushing them aside. Not now, later on, and pushing. And then when he's coming to the real things to do, I'm pushing him also. He's playing with me to be able to clarify my wishes. But if I know what I want, I know this is my wishes, I know that that's what I want, I'm, I'm, I trust. And I'm sure that if I'll tell you, listen, 4 o'clock in the morning, Bank Lumi in the center of the city, they have, they are giving a gift, suitcase with $300,000 cash. Are you going to be there 4 o'clock in the morning? Believe me, if it's I will tell you cold outside, snowing, raining, you will go out. I have no doubts. <laughs> if trust me, you come half an hour ahead, just waiting on the line to be sure that you're going to get this suitcase. But this is where we are, but now he's playing with that. And for us, we say, no, what, what? He playing with our mind. He playing. He says, it's easy for you to give up. Why? No. You don't see the benefit. You just know it by knowing it. But if you know that's what you want, you understand this is your wishes, you can't play with it. Even in telling you yes, he tell you no, you don't pay attention. If somebody comes to you, and I look and ask you a question, he comes and say, listen, trust me, cut your pairs. You will. Why? Because you always know, you already know this is what you want. You put your wishes and you made your mind no one is going to change it, no matter who, what he is going to say. That's exactly where we are. If I know the mitzvah, I study it, and I practice it, and I know what I'm doing, nobody will change it. But this is what I want. I try to extend it. I try to make it more in the Hasidic way. I try to make it more, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, and you're likely to take your term mitzvah. You're more precise with the mitzvah. Yes, I'm going to be more precise with the mitzvah, exactly, I'm sorry. That, that, that's what I'm going to do. First, I did it because I have to do it. Like mitzvah and shimilu I try to understand, I start to love the mitzvah. I want to do it because I want to do it. I love it, I want to keep it on. I try to make it better. 
It's, it's the same, like we say, Kibudorim. Kabeta v'chavetimcha. If my mother is coming to my house and I want to give her, I don't know, lunch, I have two ways. One way, I'm going to bring her the pot, the dishes, put it on the table, bon appetit, and go in. Or I'm going to make the table, I'm make the plate ready, I'm going to heat the food, I want to put it on the plate, I want to make it ready for her, I cut the bread and make it ready, I will make the napkins, I bring the water, everything nice and clean and ready for her. It's the same thing, both of them I did, but in the other part, I, ma I made because I want to do it. I, I, lo I love the mitzvah and I'm doing better. As more we do it, as more we understand it, as more I stick to it, it doesn't matter what he says. No, don't do it, you don't have time, we have to run, we have this, we have, uh, I have time for everything. I have time for everything. One day, I was, uh, I finished my chavot in the morning, at, uh, it was quarter to four, and I decided to walk to the shore. It's about 20 minutes walk. And as I'm walking, I saw an old man. And I don't know what he's doing four o'clock in the morning, but he was with a heavy suitcase and hardly really pulling himself. I said, poor man, what am I going to leave him alone? I said, Rabbi, tell him, let me help you. He said, no, 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 you're, you're in a hurry to the, to the nets. No, no, you can't leave, leave it here. I'll make, I said, no, leave. I want to do that. Give me, I want to do that. He said, you know, you look tired. You're coming from, you had a shield now, you look tired. I said, no, I, I want to, I just, I insist on that. This is what I want to do. He said, okay, if you insist, he said, but you have to know, it's far, it's not close. I said to, my, to myself, but what I'm going to do now? I have a mitzvah to help this old man, four o'clock in the morning, taking his suitcase. I don't know where to where he's going, but it's not easy. And on the other hand, if it's, if it's really far, I'm going to lose the nets. I said, what, what I prefer? I said, I want to help him. I want to help him. Whatever is happening, happen. Fine, if God wishes, I'll do. So I took the suitcase and I'm going with him. Oh my God, we walked about 35 minutes. Not close, I was sure, that's it, I lost him. I lost him, but I was happy to help him. He looked at me and said, you're not regret? I said, no. You're going to lose the, 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 the nets. I said, it's okay, I'm fine. I'll pray on the on, on second minyan. I, that's not an issue. I took it. I took him to his house. I don't know, climbing, going down. There is that thing. I put it there. I, I just was ready to go. He said, take this small book with you. Read it when you have a time. I said, no, thank you. No, this take it. He said, I want you to take it. Fine, I took it. I was like in a hurry to go to pray. I'm coming to the shul, and the chazan was late. As I walked in, the chazan walked in. Now ask me, I lost something? I win. I win. I trust God. This is what I want to do. I was sure. But he was hesitating. I was losing this mitzvah. In the other hand, sitting in the, in the shul and waiting for the chazan. The chazan will come. And then I found that this book he gave me was a very important book. I was looking for that almost five years, I went, I, and I didn't find it. He just gave it to me and said, that's what it is. So that's where, where I'm standing. Whatever he said, we have to know, and the answer is clarifying our wishes. When he's fighting with you, yes, no, no, yes, that's exactly what you did when you started with the Chavota. You're studying, he is giving argument, you're giving argument, he said yes, yes, you say no, you say no, he said yes, and then, by that, you clarify that exactly you wish. That's exactly what the answer is doing. It's good in the end. We need to have him. Unless we come to the time that we are going to get rid from Yetzirah and from Mitzvot Lotase. Then both of them is one deal. And then I am quiet. We have only Mitzvot Ase. That's I need only the Yetzirah. That's Hashem wish and hope and we'll continue with that Hashem next week and 69. Oh yeah, oh yeah.